long neck, baby. Yeah. Strapped in for the countdown. Three, two, one, blast off, and we out now. Got the fuel tank totally full. We gotta make it past Earth's gravitational pull. We use jet propulsion till we're in the clear. First, we gotta pass through that troposphere. Now the stratosphere, then the mesosphere, then the thermosphere. Hit the gas, now we out of here. I think I see a satellite. Use a scientific method, cause I gotta get my data right. Look out the window when I make an observation. I can see the International Space Station. I see asteroids, and I see stars. And the very first planet that I see is Mars. And when it comes to moons, the Earth only has one But Jupiter has a ton At least 67 Out here in outer space It's a really exciting place I think I see a supernova On Mars and we're rolling like the rover Everything is a celestial Made friends with an extraterrestrial Out here in outer space Out here in outer space Found it. It's called Saturn and it's got rings around it. One of its moons has water and ice. It could even have microbiological life. It's called Enceladus. And there's other moons too. Being in space is a lot better than a zero low here. gravity every day. Only problem I have is keeping my microphone from floating away. Hey, ha -ha. I'm a giraffe sucker, not a hippopotamus. I came here to test my hypothesis. I passed Pluto. Now I'm in the deep space. It really is a neat place to do science. I'm looking for a wormhole. My spaceship starts to lose control. I guess I found what I was trying to find. So I'll sit back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> out here in outer space, it's a really exciting place. I think I see a supernova on Mars and we're rolling like the rover. Everything is a celestial, made friends with an extraterrestrial. Out here in outer space.